Hello, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. It's Nev here. It's Rainbow Tower UK and we are doing another pick a card reading today and it's so lovely to have you here. I hope you're all really well, you're all really happy and healthy. That's the main thing I always say that. Um, and today our reading is what are their secret thoughts about you? So what are they secretly thinking about you? And we have got our three piles as usual. We have got Pile number one, which is the Knight of Cups and the little red bead there. And you can see that little red bead here. And then pile number two, which is the Hanged Man with our little green bead. And then pile number three, which is the Seven of Cups with our little turquoise bead. So that is, uh, those are your choices for today. So just use your intuition, go for the one that is calling to you, the one that feels right. And I'll see you very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing what are their secret thoughts of you right now? So the person on your mind, what are their secret thoughts of you? So you have chosen to come into the reading under the Knight of Cups. I mean, the Knight of Cups is... Um, probably one of the most romantic cards in the deck. Pisces, as a star sign, might mean something to you. But anyway, let's leave it there. Let's not say too much until we get some other cards out. So we've got our red bead as well. So you chose to come in under that. And I'm going to leave that in my little rainbow dish there so that you can see it. It's part of our reading. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it? You've got red and light of cups. So a lot of attraction and passion. Um, and the light of cups can also be an offer. Somebody's offering you something or wanting to offer you something. But anyway, let's get out some Oracle. I haven't shuffled any Oracle cards, as you can see. Um, thank you so much. As I always say, thanks very much for coming back and listening to my readings. If you're a regular viewer, I really appreciate that. And if you're new, then welcome. Uh, and if you feel like you want to subscribe, you know, leave a comment, hit the like button. Um, what I would say, if you do subscribe, please do hit the notification bell, because that really uh, helps me out. And it just means you never miss an upload. But let's ask. Uh, also to remind you obviously as well you know these are general readings um for the collective it's not a one-to-one -one reading if it all resonates with you fantastic and i really hope that it does but if it doesn't it just means that there might be messages for other people that are listening to the reading and to just try and be okay with that and that it's timeless so it's good for me if you find it but let us ask you know what is power number one's person's secret thoughts right now about pile number one, I feel like that one wants to come out. And we have acceptance of love. Now look at this, this is, we can't really, do, this is a lot of romance here, pile number one, 100%. There's a lot of, um, they are secretly, I feel like this person is loved up, really. I feel like there's a lot of love in this connection. Acceptance of love, maybe they are just beginning to realize it or clock onto it, the depth of their feeling. Look at this devotion between these two uh, this, this, uh, these two people, or this person that seems to be part of the tree. Um, but it's just such a romantic image, isn't it? And because you know, you've got the Knight of Cups, and all this green here is making me think of growth. So they may be wanting to grow the connection. It's a very summer, it's like a summer scene, isn't it? They want to grow the connection. They want to um, nurture the connection it's also making me think of the heart chakra which is again making me think of love so this person is secretly their secret thoughts are of romance with you of love of being with you they might be dreaming a lot about you as well um yeah and of course 38 i've just noticed that this card is number 38 three and eight adds up to 11 uh, which is obviously a very spiritual number but also 11 cancels down to two um, and twos, of course, is all about, isn't it? You know, um, you know, kind of being being together, um, partnerships, relationships, balance, harmony, cooperation, peers. So they might be really thinking the secret thoughts are to be with you. Now let us get out some other cards before we say anything. So what is part number one's person? So it's certainly looking good at the moment. They have a lot of kind of positive romantic feelings towards you. What is part number two's not not part number two, what is part number one's person's secret thoughts of part number one right now? What are their secret thoughts of part number one? We have the elk, which is nobility. It says nobility. 
And he says, celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenge is limitless. So I feel like this, this person is um, wanting success, secretly wanting success in this connection. Um, they might want to take the lead, uh, but they might feel that they are, there, there might be some challenges to it, to it, but they're feeling that they can overcome those challenges. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at some, what else have we got here? Let's have a moon card, I think. What is uh, pile number one's secret thoughts? Pile number one's person's secret thoughts about pile number one right now. What are their secret thoughts about pile number one right now? What does this say? You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. And again, we've got a lot of green here. Um, I mean, Virgo might mean something to you. Full moons are, you know, results, a time of results. You are, maybe they were having, maybe they've been having confidence issues or doubt issues, wondering about whether they are good enough for you. But now they're thinking, yes, I am wanting to be with pile number one. Um, I might even be dreaming. I feel like there's a lot of dreamy energy because both these figures have got their eyes closed. She's got her eyes closed. It makes me feel there's a lot of dreaminess going on, a lot of kind of fantasy, a lot of dreaming about you. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get out our tarot. Okay, so what tarot are we going to use today? I'm going to use this one. Okay, so this is the witch's tarot, by the way, if you're interested. So uh, let's ask, what is pile number one's person's secret thoughts about pile number one right now? What are their secret thoughts about pile number one? Right now? We have the ten of wands. What are their secret thoughts about pile number one right now? We have the Sun card. We have the Queen of Cups. What are their secret thoughts about pile number one right now? We have the Seven of Cups. And funnily enough, the Seven of Cups is the name card for pile number three. Uh, you might want to listen to pile number three if you're interested. And then we've got the Knight of Wands. So... Let's bring these over. And what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have the Five of Cups. Now, for many of you, it could be that with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups, this is a situation that is in separation. You're not with this person. Or there's some loss. The Five of Cups is like disappointment. It's like crying. It can be a little bit like crying over spilt milk, not being able to, you know, being focused on the negative of the situation. So it could be that the situation is a little bit um in separation or there's some disappointment maybe you're disappointed with them um it could be tough because we've got the ten of wands here yeah but ten of wands can often mean the end of a tough cycle because tens cancel down to one so i think the secret thoughts of this person are that they want a, if you're in a tough cycle or if there are challenges or obstacles or a heaviness to the situation they're wanting that to dissipate their secret thoughts are that they want that to dissipate they want that to um change because with the five of cups what happens in the five of cups is that although often we are you know in the main figure in the five of cups is um focusing very much on the three cups where the, the liquid is spilt you know spilt milk if you like that's where the phrase or that's why the phrase crying over spilt milk is often associated with the five of cups You've always got the two cups that are standing, which is the two of cups. So I think this, this um, we had two here, didn't we, when we cancelled down 38 eventually to two. So I think then this person is um, secretly wanting a partnership, a connection with you again. They're secretly wanting to have a relationship with you again. Uh, there might be disappointment, there might be challenges, it might be feeling heavy, but they are wanting that. It is a dream for them with the Seven of Cups. It's definitely a dream um, because the Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy. And I feel like with all these figures with their eyes closed, there's a lot of fantasizing going on with your person. They are secretly fantasizing and dreaming about you. Um, and with the Sun and the Queen of Cups, I mean, you definitely make them very happy. They want to be recognised by you. I think with all these sunflowers here and the Knight of Wands, 
they definitely want you to see them. They want you to see them. They want you to see them as something very attractive, something very um, uh, exciting, something, uh, you know, a person of action. And I feel like they want you to, yeah, they, they want to be recognised by you. They want to be seen by you. But there is an awful lot of heat for them with you. So there's a, there's a lot of attraction for you. There's a lot of chemistry. They feel a lot of chemistry towards you. The Knight of Wands is, you know, probably one of the most passionate cards in the deck. So this person has a lot of passion for you. Um, now, let's just see what else we've got, actually. The Queen of Cups. I mean, they see, there might be... Um, I mean, the Queen of Cups right under the acceptance of love shows me that they, they there's a lot of love here. So it's not just, I mean, the Knight of Wands, if it was on its own, it can, it can be a little bit of a player energy. So, um, but I don't think it is with this person because we've got the Queen of Cups here under the acceptance of love. So I feel like this person is catching on and the main card of the Knight of Cups is catching on to the depth of their feelings. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's very wise. She's a queen and she's got real emotional intelligence. So it means that this person um, is... Uh, feeling that you and them have a strong emotional bond but it could be that they think it's a bit of a dream at the moment that it's still a bit of a dream that they'd love to ground but at the moment it might seem like a bit of a fancy and that might be why there's disappointment because they're feeling more oh, perhaps I can never have pile number one even though I'd love to have pile number one I'd love to come forward and have pile number one and to be honest knight of wands and knight of cups are cards of action but maybe at the moment it feels like it's a little bit impossible or it feels a bit stuck or maybe it's in separation and there's been disappointment um, and it's been a bit heavy. Um, and so it feels like it just could be a bit of a fantasy. Um, maybe they are keeping themselves stuck because they don't have confidence. Maybe they're trying to muster up the confidence with the Knight of Wands here to come forward. Um, something like that. But anyway, let us... See, so in terms of, um, I mean, we've got the Ten of Wands, which is Sagittarius energy. Uh, the Sun is Leo, Queen of Cups, um, and, and, and indeed the Knight of Cups could be any of the all signs of Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. Uh, Seven of Cups is um, Scorpio energy. Um, so is the Five of Cups. So that's secret, isn't it? I mean, Scorpio is... A very secretive sign so talk about being secret these these feelings might be very hidden from you the, all this kind of attraction and, and uh, romance that they feel towards you and the fact that you make them so happy I think the thought of you just makes them really very happy uh, and there's a lot of heat there's a lot of chemistry here for this person um, yeah and the Knight of Wands again could be any of the uh, fire signs of Aries Leo or Sagittarius let us get out a message card actually so let's see let's ask what are their secret thoughts what is pearl number one person's secret thoughts about pearl number one right now what are their secret thoughts about pearl number one right now i thought that one must come out poker face taking a chance risks and options not showing their hand gambling well, that might be, again, that goes very much with a sense of secrecy. So they, it might be a bit of a gamble for them. They might feel like it's a bit of a risk. Um, that might be why there's, like I say, this sense of disappointment or it feels heavy because they have all these feelings for you, but it's maybe a little bit risky to let you know that. Um, it might be a bit of a gamble, something like that. Anyway, let's get out some more tarot, shall we? Okay, so what is pile number one person's secret thoughts about pile number one what are their secret thoughts about pile number one the chariot okay the chariot let's move these up a little bit you can see them a little bit um okay what are their secret thoughts oh we've got the six of swords what are their secret thoughts of pile number one right now? What are their secret thoughts? We have the Hanged Man. Funnily enough, the Hanged Man is the main card in pile number two. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Three of Wands. And the overarching energy is the King of Cups. 
Right, well, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So, obviously, I think they are feeling, and it goes very much with this card, the acceptance of love. So, I think they feel that you and them are uh, counterparts here, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You match each other. Um, yeah, so they're definitely feeling that. There's some sort of... Um, I don't know if there's some sort of delay in this for them. There's, or maybe they're secretly thinking that they have to... Um, they might also be secretly thinking that they have to... Ch somehow somebody has to change... Maybe they have to sh change their perspective with the hangman because the hangman is often a shift. It could be that somebody left this situation. It could be that you left the situation with the Six of Swords here because this is a, a sign of somebody leaving the situation. Um... And you might have done that quickly. There might have been a rapid uh, walking away from a situation or leaving a situation for some of you, which has left it, ha for them, it's hanging. It's still hanging for them. It's not It's not over, if you know what I mean. Because this King of Cups is an interesting King of Cups. It's the overarching energy. It reminds me of something. He doesn't look very happy, does he? And he's got a drink here. Um, and I'm just wondering whether he, or this this person that you're thinking about, is actually deep in their feeling for you but there's a sadness to them as well and it comes under the five of cups so it could be that this is in separation i feel like this person is secretly maybe catching on or realizing the depth of their feeling for you that maybe they didn't show before um and in this period of separation they have matured because they've matured from the knight to the king they feel they've matured emotionally and maybe just losing you or losing the connection or um, something has happened, they've shifted uh, their perspective. They um, are more, or they feel they're more emotionally mature. So I think their secret thoughts are that they would like the wheel to turn again for you and them. They would like it to be, um, and it's funny enough because this girl, I know she's not holding a butterfly, but to me it looked like two butterfly wings, or like, like a butterfly wing there that she was holding. So I'm just wondering if this person wants, secretly hoping that the situation will change, that fate will change, and it will transform. It will be a much more... That is their dream, for the situation to transform and become better. Um, but at the moment, it might be kind of like hanging or stuck at the moment with the Three of Wands and the Hangman. But the Three of Wands can also be about... Um, although something is, is kind of in a period of kind of like waiting, it's also about them thinking about ways or coming up with strategies or plans, comes right under the Knight of Wands, to move the situation forward, to get it, you know, to, to, for it to become unstuck, if you know what I mean. So I think this person is secretly wanting to, the, this, again, the situation to transform with you. And it may be because... They're either not with you because you're in separation or because they can't be with you or something like that. But they want that to change. They want the perspective to shift. And some of you may have experienced or may have walked out from this situation. There may have been a quick walking away or a moving away. And if they did it, I think there's a lot of regret. I think there's some regret there um, about that. Um, they've shifted their perspective and now they want the, the situation to move Um you know, the fate to be different. Now, had we not had the King and the Queen of Wands, what I might have said is that this person is a little bit unpredictable sometimes because you've got the Wheel of Fortune and you've got the Knight of Cups and those aren't always predict Knight of Wands rather, and those aren't always predictable energy. And it might have been like that in the past, that they were unpredictable, that it was a cycle, something that went in cycles, that you got together, you came apart, you got together, you came apart, that kind of thing. Um, like you moved towards each other and then you moved away from each other, which would be the Terrier and the Six of One, uh, Six of Swords. But I think because we've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I feel like this person is secretly feels that they have matured somehow or that they have grown um, and that losing you or having some kind of disappointment or loss in this situation has allowed them to shift their perspective and to change in some way uh, and that they are hoping that they can... Um, that the, 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 the situation will change for the better again. Um, maybe they have accepted their love for you, whereas maybe before they didn't show you that or they didn't realise. Now, secretly, they are realising how much you actually 
mean to them like that, that is their thoughts really um okay so um with the uh, chariots cancer six of swords we have um uh, aquarius hangman is pisces um three of wands uh is uh, aries energy and king of cups again could be any of the water signs of um pisces as cancer or scorpio but let's get out some other message cards here. Let's have one more of these and then we'll get a few others. So what is part number one's person's secret thoughts about part number one, please? What are their secret thoughts right now about part number one? What are their secret thoughts? Oh, I've got two there. Let's go for these ones. What are they? We have blowing kiss, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. Right, okay. And then we have Teddy Bear, interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, wants a day. Yeah, this person definitely wants to. It's, and like I said before at the beginning, you know, that we, you've got the Knight of Cups, so they're definitely wanting, their secret thoughts are to be with you. They want romance with you. They want to offer you something. Um, and if it's someone that you've separated from, they, they want a reconciliation, a, re, a reuniting, if you like. Uh, what is pile number one's person's secret thoughts of pile number one, please? What are their secret thoughts of pile number one? Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Gosh, okay. And we've got heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. My goodness, pile number one. This is, um, this is very, uh, gosh, this is very romantic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Power number one, I mean, come on. Love conquers all. Wow. And then what's this one? Obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. I mean, could there... I mean, I don't need to say any more, really, after that, do I? Because it's obvious that this person is... I would say this person is, you know, really, really in love with you. And they want that love uh, rekindled. Or they want to start that love with you. This is a beautiful reading. Anyway, pile number one, if you like your reading, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, leaving me a comment and giving me a thumbs up. That would really, really help me out. Uh, it'd make me feel good and it'd be really good for the channel. But thanks ever so much and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two. Sorry, I, <laughs> I clicked there and I didn't know if I was on camera or not. But anyway, hello, pile number two. Welcome back to your reading. So we are doing today, aren't we? What is your person? What are their secret thoughts about you right now? So you came into the reading under the hanged man here. Okay, and the little green bead. So I'm just going to put that in my little rainbow so you can see it there. So the hanged man, I mean, what I'm getting straight away is that this person secretly might be having sort of like a bit of an epiphany moment about you or a bit of um a shift in the way that they view you, in the way that they see you. They might be changing their opinion about you. They might be secretly, um, yeah, secretly becoming enlightened about you or how they're feeling about you. That's what I mean by a bit of an epiphany moment. Um, or they might be realising that somehow they need, secretly thinking that they need to change their perspective about you uh, or they need to change or shift the way they're doing things with regards to you. So, something like that. But anyway, let's get out some other cards before we say anything else. Have a pre-shuffled in Oracle cards. I'm going to do that now. Thank you. As I always say, thank you so much for joining me for um, another Pick a Card reading. Uh, if you're, especially if you're a regular viewer. Thanks ever so much. I always get some lovely comments from the regular viewers. And I really appreciate that. And if you're new, then welcome. Um, and if you feel like you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment or a thumbs up. I always really appreciate that. It really does mean I can carry on doing my uh, readings. The other thing is to say, you know, it's a sort of a, a general reading for the collective. Um, lots of people or a few people watch them. So it's great if everything resonates with you. That's fantastic. But there's bound to be a couple of things that, that don't resonate for many of you. And if that's the case, then... Um, you know, just to sort of try to be cool with that. But if the whole thing is off, then you might want to look at another pile or you might want to look at another reading. I've definitely got plenty of those on my channel because that's kind of how general readings work. But anyway, just to say as well, it's timeless, so it's kind of good for whenever you're finding it. But let's ask 
What is power number two's person's secret thoughts right now for power number two? What are their secret thoughts right now for power number two? Let's see what this one is. We have gratitude and appreciation. Yeah, and that might go with the the shift, the the, the epiphany moment that maybe they are. Um, at the moment, their secret thoughts is that they are becoming more appreciative of you. Maybe they weren't in the past for many of you. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they took it for granted or uh, they didn't appreciate you um, at the time or something like that. And now they're having some kind of shift in perspective um, and they're being and they're realising. I feel like it's a moment of realisation. They're realising something here. Um, now, this is card number 46 and four and six adds up to ten. 10 is ending of a cycle. Um, so it could be that they are, um, it's something that came into an end. Something came to an end, maybe. And at the end of that, or in the close of that, uh, and in the aftermath of that, there is some kind of realisation happening here. Uh, yeah, again, because we've got this unicorn's horn coming right out from their third eye. So they're having some kind of spiritual also got this light around the hangman's head they're having some kind of spiritual uh or some kind of realization really something's happening uh within them some shift is happening now you might for yourself think oh it's a bit too late for that but <laughs> depending on what's going on in this situation but i feel like for them they're they're having a moment of um reflection and realization let's get one of these ones what is pile number two's person's secret thoughts of pile number two? So they, it's, it's, it's a bit like that, you know, you don't know what you've lost until it's gone kind of feeling. It's that sort of energy, really. It's that kind of energy. Um, black Jaguar, old soul. Black Jaguar, old soul. So what does this say? It says, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Yeah, there's sort of an otherworldliness to this. And it, I feel like this person has realised the depth. That there's a depth to you and them. Um, and they didn't know it before. I think that's what's happened here. They didn't realise it before. And they're realising it now. Like maybe they're realising that there's a union, a link between the two of you that they didn't take. I feel like they may have ta did not uh, taken advantage, or they, they they didn't appreciate the situation before or you before, and they regret that. I think there's some regrets here. What is pile number two's person's secret thoughts of pile number two? What do we have? Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Yeah, there might have been. Um, some pride with this person, some vanity with this person. Leo might mean something to some of you. But let's get out some tarot. Let's get out some tarot here. Um, let's ask, what is power number two's person's secret thoughts of power number two right now? What are their secret thoughts of power number two right now? What are their secret thoughts of power number two right now? I feel like with the mane around the lion's head and the light around this hangman, this person is having a lot of doing a lot of thinking. There's a lot of crown chakra stuff going on. There's a lot of realization happening, a lot of light. Leo is associated with the color yellow. I just feel like there's a lot of light happening. A lot of um, yeah, a lot of kind of light realizations, you would like. What is Pile number two's person's secret thoughts of pile number two right now. So we have the two of swords, we have the knight of pentacles, we have the high priestess, talk about secret, we have the fool, and we have the, the emperor, and the hangman again. So this situation might really be on pause for many of you. So this situation is a situation which is on pause, but this person is definitely going through, um, it's, I feel like it's an uncomfortable time for them because you've got the hangman twice. I feel like at the moment, the situation is uncomfortable for them. Um, but in that uncomfortableness, it could be that that uncomfortableness is because they're having to face up uh, and be reflective on a few home truths about themselves. 
Um, and I think that that's what's happening. That they, um, the Two of Swords, you know, they can't see a way forward maybe at the moment with the Two of Swords. They're sort of feeling stuck. There's a sense of stuckness for them uh, in this situation. And it could be a sense of stuckness because um, they, they uh, can't move on. If, you've, if you're in separation, they, they feel like they can't move on. Maybe they've behaved in ways which haven't been right. Um, and it, in the separation, they have, have kind of like realised and they can't move on from the connection, really. Um, and I feel like with the... Uh, I feel like they're trying to gain back control in the situation. They feel like they're trying to gain back in control in the situation. Though with the High Priestess here and this Black Jaguar, I definitely feel this person feels there's a strong, soulful link between the two of you, but there probably was a lot of pride with this person, with the Emperor here and the Full Moon in Leo. And maybe part of what they're realising is that their pride and their, maybe their ego, maybe their, their uh, lack of emotional connection to you or lack of emotional demonstration to you um, was something that they regret, they deeply regret now. And they need to shift that, they need to change that um, going forwards. They might also be feeling that you are keeping yourself very much to yourself you are um, disconnected from them uh, and that the whole situation is kind of on pause and on hold and that is a sort of sense of frustration for them because I definitely feel this person is secretly thinking of a new beginning with you because we've got the fall here and we've got the knight of pentacles and they might be doing a lot of strategizing at the moment trying to work out how they can do that planning you know that kind of thing because that is the emperor card um, it might be a bit of a risk um, certainly it could be stuck I guess because you know you're not actually together at the moment and maybe this person wants to make a move but I feel like it's going to be slow so this person does want to make a move I think again towards reigniting or being with you but it will be slow because we've got the knight of pentacles because I think this person is deep in a sort of period of figuring themselves out maybe healing maybe getting a different perspective on themselves and how they can be better in a relationship. I think that's probably what's going on. There's a lot of that going on for them. They know they have to shift uh, a lot of patterns within themselves. They have to shift a lot of um, maybe traits of how they behave in a relationship that isn't that great. Uh, and that takes time, really. And they don't want to rush into anything. This, I don't feel like this person wants to rush back into anything. But they want to move slowly towards something. But they're... They're keeping it very hidden from you, I think. This might be a no-contact situation for many of you. You might not have any contact with this person. But um, they definitely, um, you know, they definitely see this kind of soulful link between the two of you. They, they think there's an intuitive, um, yeah, there's something intuitive between the two of you. They might be doing a lot of dreaming about you or a lot of connecting in the 3D, in the 5D rather, and all of that. Um, but I'm just noticing the black cat that we always have in the, the high priestess and I feel like this person is thinking there's there's renewal in this situation because cats is also about um nine lives isn't it uh a cat always has nine lives um I don't know if this is like around this two of swords this is reminding me of lavender and lavender is always associated with relaxation so it might be a stressful time but they might be trying to gain their balance their equilibrium in this period of stagnation of things being on hold, um, of and, and that's going to help them going forwards, really. Uh, but their secret thoughts of you is definitely to have a new beginning, but it's kind of slowly, and that they are appreciating you more. They are realizing, and again, that goes to the high priestess. There's a realization, maybe, of the depth of their feeling for you. Maybe they didn't show that, but they're realizing the depth of their feeling for you. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. So we've got, with the Two of Swords, we have um, Libra in energy. Hanged Man is Pisces. Emperor is Aries. Um, and Knight of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But let's get our message card, shall we? Let's see what we've got in terms of a message. Uh, let's see, so what is... Pile number two's person's secret thoughts of pile number two right now. What are their secret thoughts of pile number two right now, please? I feel like it's that one. 
which is Teddy Bear, interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, want to date. So this could be stuck because as well, because it's a crush situation, maybe a very secret situation. Um, and this person wants, is feeling a bit stuck, they're not sure. Maybe they feel stuck in their situation at the moment. Maybe they're in a settled situation, but they like you and they have to keep it under wraps. But they want to slowly move towards building something with you. That could be it as well. I feel like this one wants to come out. I'm going to take it. Oh, I've got two actually. I wasn't planning on two, but obviously they want to come out. So I'm just going to go with it. We have old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. And then we have a healing heart. Healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationships. So maybe this has been a difficult time for some of you. This has been uh, as coming to separation. This situation has come into separation. Um, and this person is trying to heal. They want to, as I said, they're, they're having a kind of epiphanies, sort of like some sort of spiritual healing and realising their mistakes and having a lot of regret for that, really. But anyway, let us get some other tarot cards out here so we have so what is pile number two's person's secret thoughts about pile number two right now what are the secret thoughts of pile number two we have the two of wands right under the two of swords there might be a choice they might be they might be thinking that they need to make a choice in this situation of some kind uh the knight of pentacles again We have the Page of Swords and we have the Four of Cups, right, on their secret thoughts. And the overarching energy is the Five of Wands. I feel like there might be quite a lot of fear, maybe, in your person. Um, I feel like they definitely, the Knights are all about action, right? So the Knights are cards of action. So I feel like this person is secretly thinking that they do want to um, come towards you, for sure. Um, but it's definitely going to be slow. It's not a quick thing for them. And they may be feeling like they have to compete for your attention, uh, that they have to, that it's a challenge for them. They may be feeling that the situation is a challenge for them and they have to fight or compete for it. They're definitely really, really, I mean, talk about secret. This person is really secretly checking you out with a page of swords here, really secretly uh, looking at you on social media or finding out about you. They really are very, very, very curious of you. Um, but I can't help feeling that you, for many of you, you might have come into separation with this person. Um, the two of wands, yeah, there might be choices. It might be because they, in order to come towards you, they have to make a choice. And that might be tricky for them. The nine of wands is shows me that they are, with the nine of wands, normally it's about standing up for yourself. It might be that you've gone through a lot, uh, but you're still standing. You're still ready to to kind of face the challenges. And funnily enough, in this Knight of Pentacles, we can see this young lad, can't we? Really looking determined in this basketball match to get past his opponents. And because it comes right next to the Knight of Wands, it makes me feel this person knows that there's challenges with the Five of Wands as well. They know that there's challenges, but their, their, their secret thoughts are to overcome them and to move towards you. But with the Four of Cups, there's disappointment in the situation. There's definitely disappointment in the situation for them. And maybe they're thinking that you have disappointment in this situation, which is why it has to be done slowly. Um, and it could be that this situation was very disappointing for you. They disappointed you. And like I say, they are realising uh, how they've behaved, that they've behaved foolishly. There's a lot of regret. Um, uh, they're trying to heal themselves. And they would like their secret thoughts is to maybe come towards you, or not maybe to come towards you, um, but that will be slow. So at the moment, I feel like the secret thoughts is to heal, uh, to get in a better place, but to still, you know, um, still kind of like a fight for the situation, to still fight for the connection, to overcome any challenges, but in a very slow, steady way. Maybe before they were just a bit out for themselves and it was all a bit quick and they didn't show much commitment. But I think with the Knight of Pentacles coming up twice... I think that in this period of separation or um, time apart, they have realised that they need to be more methodical, more slow, more steady, more uh, reliable. And that is what they want to do to overcome what might have happened before, something like that. 
Yeah, so two of wands again is um, Aries, nine of wands, Sagittarius, nine of pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Swords, any of the air signs of Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Four of Cups is Cancer energy. Five of Wands is um, uh, Leo energy. So that is what we've got here. Yeah, I feel like your person is really trying to work themselves out. They're really trying to work themselves out. They're really they may be spending a lot of time on their own. They're trying to be reflective. Um, and you might not recognise them. That's why you've got the hangman here. Because it might be that they've done a complete 360 degree turn, really, in how they were in the past to how they are now, um, which might be very different, really. And that is probably because the catalyst for that, that shift, that development, that soul development, is maybe you. And, the, you know, the you or what's happened with you has triggered that healing to be a better person and also to move back in a very slow way in a very slow way in a reliable way really but let's get some more um cards out here what is pile number two's person's secret thoughts of pile number two what are their secret thoughts of pile number two what are their secret thoughts of pile number two They may feel secretly that you won't receive them well, uh, that you're, you've moved on, you know, there's other people around you now, um, and that you also, that you certainly won't put up with any nonsense anymore. So that's why they have to be more measured, more um, reliable, definitely. What are their secret thoughts of part number two, please? What is part number two, supposed to secret thoughts of part number two? What have we got here? We've got deeply. Look deeply within to discover your sole purpose in your relationships. Yeah, there's a lot of deep thinking with this person. There's a lot of um, soul searching going on with them. Openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. They might be going through some sort of spiritual um, uh, awakening or some kind of healing process. And it might be something that's so... Um, that you just wouldn't expect with this person, but somehow they've gone through it, really. And I think the trigger for that is you, the relationship with you. Bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. And then they have married. Oh, my God. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. I do feel this person, and I said it with the High Priestess and also this card here, that they have realised, they're recognising you, the depth of their connection with you, how they might have taken it for granted, how silly they might have been in the past, and that now they want much something much more stable. They, there's a lot of reflection deep soul searching going on with them but anyway part number two that's been your reading i hope you liked it if you have please do consider subscribing hitting that notification bell giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment everything would be gratefully received but otherwise have a great day and i'll see you in the next reading bye for now hey part number three welcome welcome to your reading so today we're doing aren't we um what is your person's secret thoughts about you uh, right now and you chose to come into the reading under the seven of cups okay and also the little turquoise bead here so let's uh first of all just get out some other oracle cards i haven't shuffled any today so um let's first of all do that um, I just want to say thank you, as I always do, for all your lovely support and um, particularly people that keep coming back and they make comments and all the rest of it. It's so lovely. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you're new, then welcome. Uh, thanks to tuning in, for tuning in to my channel. I'm Nev. And um, if you feel that you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell, that would help me out amazingly. <laughs> and I'd really appreciate that. Um, and also, if you just want to leave a thumbs up or a comment, everything is gratefully received here on Rainbow Tower UK. And I want to just say, you know, it is a general reading for the collective. It's not a one-to-one -one reading. Um, you know, if everything resonates with you, then fantastic. But if there are some things that don't resonate, it's likely for somebody else. Or if the whole reading is off, then it may be that you just need to listen to another pile or listen to another reading. I've certainly got lots of readings on my channel, so please feel free to listen to lots of other readings, particularly around secret thoughts. I'm sure I've got a few more of those. But anyway, and it's timeless as well, so it's good for whenever you're finding it. But let us start, you know, what is part number three's person's secret thoughts of part number three right now? What are their secret thoughts of part number three 
right now. Now I didn't have two of these in any of the other readings, but I'm going to take them because they seem to want to come out. So I'm just going to go with the process, so to speak. So let's have a look. We've got Inner Truths. And we've got You Are Worth It. You Are Worth It. Okay, let's get another one out. Let's get out a moon card. So what is Pearl number three's person's secret thoughts of Pearl number three right now? Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Okay. All right, You Are Worth It. Um, I feel this person might be a little bit um, confused about you at the moment. I think their secret thought is they're a little bit confused about you and about the connection, really. It could be that, you know, I feel like this, this person is thinking, they're not sure, really. They're not, they're not absolutely 100% sure um, about, the, uh, about the connection with you. Um, it could be as well for many of you that this is a past connection. Um, and maybe, uh, it might be sort of like on a crossroads where this person is thinking, should I stay with this person or should I be with this person or should I reconnect with this person or should I choose something else? You know, they're sort of like, they're not sure really, um, about the connection. I've got, cause here you've got lots of choices and then here... This young girl can go through lots of different openings. I feel like this person is confused. There's confusion in their energy. Um, so maybe they are just sort of inwardly thinking, I'm not sure about this connection. Uh, and that might be why you've got inner truths, because maybe they're holding back on that. They're not, they're not being clear with you. Uh, maybe that's what's going on as well. They're not being clear with you um, because they're not sure because there's a lack of certainty to them. There's confusion in their energy, really. Um, it might be that they're self, they're sabotaging, that they are sabotaging the connection in some way um, by, think, by being that way, by being that way, they're sort of sabotaging themselves in some way. But anyway, let us get out some tarot. Let's see what's going on. What are their secret thoughts? What is pile? Number three's person's secret thoughts of pile number three. I mean, the other thing as well is, though, the other way to read this is that you could actually be a bit of a fantasy for this person with the Seven of Cups. Because the Seven, the seven of Cups is like a card of dreaming, of fantasizing. It's, it's not really uh, something that's kind of like something you dream about. It isn't really attainable. So it could be that this person is dreaming about you, that you are unobtainable in some way for them. That's another way of reading it. Uh, but let's see. What is pile number three's person's secret thoughts of pile number three? Uh, justice. Four of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. And Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And the overarching en energy is the world. Yeah, this, this person's secret thoughts is that they are, um, they're, they're sort of like in two minds. They're in two minds about the connection. I feel like part of them is thinking, should I hold on to this connection, really? Because we've got the Ten of Pentacles uh, centering it. You know, should I hold on to stability in this connection? Should I try and create stability with this person? Should we settle down together? Should we have a family together? Should we be in a stable situation? Or, with the overarching energy being the world, which is the completion of a cycle, should I end this situation? So I think secretly, inwardly, they are weighing up. Uh, the connection they are weighing up whether the connection is right for them whether you are right for them uh, whether they should be exploring other paths or other things um, because again uh, they, I feel like they, they want to try and do the right thing with the, the justice card here they want to try and do the right thing they want to try and be balanced uh, they want to try and be fair um, but I feel like this person is not entirely satisfied with the connection they're not entirely satisfied with what's going on 
they're not entirely satisfied with themselves. And it could be no, have nothing to do with you. They might just be one of those people that is a bit of a wandering soul. You know, they can't, they find it difficult to commit. So I think this person is secretly, maybe they might be outwardly giving signs that they are committed or whatever, but they might be inwardly thinking, because it's got inner truths, of questioning their commitment, questioning their ability to commit, not just to you, but to anybody. Um, they are um, weighing things up with the Seven of Pentacles here. The Seven of Pentacles is about weighing something up. It could be that you're split from this person, you've split from this person, there's been an end of the cycle, and they're on the point of wondering, should I get back with pile number three, or should I not get back with pile number three? Is this something that I want to have with them again, this stable situation, this connection with them, or do I want to explore other things, really? Um, and it could be that... Um, well, it's funny, I'm getting some interest in, again, some, some, uh, again, some sort of like dichotomy of energy here because the balance, the justice card is about balance. It's about being fair, but this looks pretty sneaky, doesn't it? This looks like this person's up to some mischief with the four of swords here. So it could be that this person is maybe outwardly giving an appearance of balance and fairness, but inwardly um, they are thinking of exploring other things or they are thinking of looking at other avenues or, um, you know, other situations. Now, if you're in separation from them and they're wondering about whether to get back with you or not, it might be that there's something else that's attracting their eye or someone else that is attracting their eye. Um, or that they are looking, it doesn't even have to be somebody else, but they're looking for excitement. They're looking for passion. They're looking for, um, yeah, and it comes... Because the Queen of Wands is... She's very passionate. She goes and gets what she wants. She's very confident. So it could be that this person is looking for... I feel like this person is looking for something... Um, they're not satisfied. I've got to be honest. I just feel this person is, doesn't feel satisfied. And that is what their secret thoughts are, really, about the connection, that they're not maybe not satisfied with what's going on. And they're not sure. There's a, there's a, there's a dichotomy of energy. There's... They're lacking in, um, they are not clear in themselves about what they want from the connection. So, and they might be hiding that from you, really. Maybe maybe they're thinking that they, there's other, other avenues for them to explore, really. But they're also um, wondering about whether they should stay and uh, connect with you or be with you or be in a settled situation still with there's a, there's a, so they could be giving mixed messages, um, you know, I mean, I would, what I would say is you should certainly not feel like you have to be with somebody they're not valuing you. I feel like this person, in reality, they might be behaving in a way which is not valuing you because of their lack of clarity. Um, and I think of, for you, you might want to question whether you want to spend or be with, spend time or be with somebody who is in that state of, um, a lack of certainty or lack of clarity really so one minute they might be kind of really into the connection or really wanting to be in the connection and other times they're withdrawing with the four of swords and the seven of pentacles they're pulling back or they're ghosting you or they're um not really showing as much interest and that is nothing to do with you that is to do with their inability maybe to commit their inability to emotionally connect all of that kind of stuff really um so their secret thoughts are you know I'm not sure about this connection. Should I stay in it? Shouldn't I stay in it? Are there other avenues for me? Do I want to explore other avenues? Um, so there's a lack, there's a non-committalness to them. And they might be saying that they're committed, but in, underneath, they're not feeling that particularly. And that can come out in their behaviour. Because often people can say lots of things, can't they? But it's what they're doing that's really important uh, to, to back up what they're actually saying. Um so the Justice card is um, Libran energy. Four of Swords is also Libran. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is Virgo. Queen of Wands is any of the um, fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then the Seven of Pentacles is um, Taurus energy. Um, I feel like there's attraction. I feel like there's definitely attraction. They're definitely attracted to you with the Queen of Wands here. There's definitely chemistry with you. There's definitely um, fire with you, heat with you, excitement with you. But um, I feel like this person is non-committal in their energy, really. 
in their true energy, in their inner energy, which they may not always show with them, which they may not be telling you. They may be telling you something else, really. But let's have a look and see what we've got here. Let's have a message card. What is pile number three's secret thoughts of pile number three? What are their secret thoughts? So you are somebody that they are attracted to. You are somebody that excites them, but they're not sure of commitment. That's what I would say is that they're unclear about whether they want to commit to the situation. So what are their secret thoughts to pile number three? Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. So that might be when they, so sometimes with the Ten of Pentacles, they feel that this is a soul connection. They feel that this is a, uh, you know, a, a uh, lifelong connection. But I do feel that there's a sense of dissatisfaction as well. But let's get some more tarot out. Let's see, what is there? What is power number three's person's? Um, secret thoughts of pile number three. What is pile number three's person? Secret thoughts. We've got the seven of wands. We've got the nine of swords. We've got the, the two of swords. We've got the three of pentacles. And we've got the eight of wands. And the overarching energy is the Queen of Wands again. Okay. Uh, so, I feel like this person is feeling that this is a challenge. This situation is a bit of a challenge for them with the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Um, the Nine of Swords is literally like a lot of stress. So I think this person is thinking that the secret thoughts is that there's a lot of stress in this situation. It might have come into separation, like I said before. You might be in separation from this person. Um, there's a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And again, with the Two of Swords, you know, there's conflict in them. They're conflicted. Should I go that way or should I go this way? Um, underneath the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of stability and commitment. So there is... There is a lack of, um, they're not sure really about commitment towards you. I think with the Queen of Wands coming up twice, there's a lot of attraction for you. There's a lot of chemistry with you. There's a lot of, um, they, they certainly feel that towards you. And again, on one level with the Three of Pentacles, they want to collaborate with you. Coming under the Queen of Wands there, they want to work in partnership with you. There's a strong, maybe they feel like there's a strong bond with you. But at other times, they are conflicted. They are stressed by the thought of the connection. Maybe they're feeling that they need a time out or healing somehow with the Four of Swords, because that can also be a card of respite and healing. And the Seven of Wands is um, about challenges. It's, it's challenges that you can overcome. So maybe on sometimes they're thinking, well, we can overcome the challenges. We can get this situation back on track. But it's very stressful. Oh, I'm not really sure about the commitment side of things. Yeah, I'd like to um, collaborate with pile number three. And yes, um, you know, I feel like this person wants excitement and I feel like commitment maybe, if that's what you want with them, is meaning that they won't get their excitement, they won't get their thrills and their, uh, their quick fixes and their quick hits. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is a person that wants to experience a lot of different things and although they love you and they care about you and they they see you as somebody important they are not ready i suppose the secret thought is that they're not ready to fully commit because it would mean somehow them in their mind it would mean them losing their freedom losing their chance to go off and have excitement with the queen of wands here twice and that is what is causing the, the, the tension within them really i think that's but they might not be saying that. They might not be open about that. Um, but that's kind of what's going on underneath the surface. There's always this feeling, oh, you know, yes, I have a deep connection with pile number three, but, you know, do I really want that commitment? It seems attractive on one level, but do I really want that? Because I'm going to be, I'm, I feel like I'm going to lose my freedom. I'm going to lose my ability to experience lots of other things. That's kind of what's going on for them. So Seven of Wands is... Uh, Leo energy, Nine of Swords is um, Gemini, Two of Swords is Libra, Three of Pentacles is Capricorn, Eight of Wands is Sagittarius, the 
the clear ones again could be um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So that's kind of what I feel. You know, the secret thoughts are they are unsure of whether they want to commit to this situation. They're unsure if they want to, if you're in separation, whether they want to return to it. They're in two minds. They don't, you know, they're they're aware of the benefits of it, but equally they feel that they might be reined in and their ability to express themselves or be with other people or explore other things is going to be um, hampered in some way. That's kind of what I'm feeling really. So sometimes they want to end it uh, or they are uh, thinking that you should stay in separation and other times they want to do the right thing and maybe come back to the connection. They're torn. There's a tornness to them. Um, and they're keeping that very secret, I would say, from you. That, 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 those, thought, that, those thought processes. Let's have one of these ones. What have we got here? What is pile number three's person secret thoughts of pile number three? The mouse and buttercup. Innocence. Okay, and I've got this one as well coming out. What's this one? The turtle and coriander. Satisfaction. So we've got innocence and satisfaction. And that comes under the soulmate, where they do feel that there's a strong link with you, a strong connection with you. Uh, so part of them is completely satisfied with you, I would say. But there's a big part of them that is questioning whether they uh, want to commit, whether they can commit all the time. There's that sort of feeling to them. Um, but let's have another one of these. Let's see what we've got here. What is part number three's person's secret thoughts of part number three? What are their secret thoughts? Cherish. Cherish your relationship. What are their secret thoughts of part number three, please? Love. Love conquers all. Fantastic. And what have we got here? Attraction. Divine soul counterpart. Attraction transcends superficiality. Okay, so these are all very, very positive. So, you know, obviously there is a lot of love in this person uh, for you. Let's have one more card and then we'll leave it. Maybe there's a struggle. Maybe there's kind of like some sort of internal struggle going on within them. And again, I don't think that's anything to do with you. I think it's got something to do with them um, just struggling, even though they feel all these things for you, struggling with the sort of everyday commitment that a long-term relationship requires, really. Let's have a look. What is their, um, what is part number three's person's secret thoughts of part number three? We have grounding, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance. And then we have cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Okay, let's have one more. What are their secret thoughts of part number three, please? The butterfly, evolving and growth, new phase, healing in a child, releasing the past. It could be that some of you are in separation from this person. It's coming to separation. And again, this person is, in, is, is at a crossroads in terms of thinking, should we stay apart or should we get back together? Um, you know, there's a lot going for this connection, but also there's something about it that maybe stops my sense of freedom. Um, and I am at the moment... Uh, you know, worried about that, or um, it, it bothers me in some way. But anyway, part number three, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Make sure you give me a thumbs up or uh, uh, leave a comment. But otherwise, I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.